Stephanie Cutter, deputy campaign manager, President Kardashian, said, of course we have no problem with Biden's comments about putting everybody back in chains. I mean, President Obama probably agrees with Vice President Biden. It's what she said. I just read it. Stephanie Cutter believes that Obama agrees with Biden. It's just a metaphor. But everybody knows that's what the Republicans want to do is put the black people back in chains. This is a metaphor. We totally stand by these comments. They're just decent guys, you know, Ryan and Romney. Decent, decent family men. They want to put people back in chains. I don't know what the test is. I, I, I'm sitting here. I just, I just hate the fact this stuff gets rewarded. I, I just, I just despise the fact that this stuff gets rewarded, and it, uh, it does, it, it works. Uh, I don't know what percentage. Thirty percent of the country stands up and applauds when Biden says this kind of stuff. Now the Romney people said, "This is deplorable. This is absolutely the bottom of the barrel. This is the lowest of the low." And the Kardashian campaign said, "No." President Kardashian totally agree. We stand by the vice president fully. Anyway, Biden's exploding. He's, uh, uh, something's gotten under his skin. Biden's just, just, just a walking gaff machine. He's out there letting fly. He's in Virginia saying, we're going to win. We're going to keep North Carolina in our camp while he's in Virginia. Stephanie Cutter said, if you want to, if you want to talk about the use of words, then take a look at Mitt Romney's stump speech where he basically calls the president un-American. That's, that's their response to Biden saying that, uh, Ryan and the Republicans want to put black people back in chains. And uh, Stephanie Cutter was on with, uh, Andrea Mitchell, NBC News in Washington. We have no problem with those comments. Here's Doug in Nashville. Doug, I'm glad you called. Great to have you on the EIB Network. Hello. Hey there. It's great to talk to you, Rush. I believe you are absolutely right that the Democrats are vulnerable and unprepared to defend themselves on this Medicare thing. And I believe that the Romney campaign needs to go on the offensive and actually run Medicare ads against Obama, accusing Obama of gutting Medicare by taking out $700 billion dollars and then promising to restore Medicare by repealing Obamacare and by replacing Obama. What do you think of an ad that shows Biden pushing a grandmother in a wheelchair over a cliff? <laughs> that sounds awesome. That would be great. Really? Because th they ran one of those against Ryan uh, long ago, long before he was even named a Veep. His budget just came out and they ran it. Would you, you like that tactic? Maybe, maybe Obama and Biden together pushing an old man and an old woman together off a cliff, both of them in wheelchairs. That sounds great. I believe we've got to go on the offensive instead of waiting and defending ourselves. Attack them. Well, you know me. I'm a firm believer in offense, 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 and throwing them on defense. And I think, mm -hmm. you know, this is we, we saw Rachel Maddow on defense. She didn't know what to talk about. She had no clue that Obamacare cut $741 billion out of Medicare. And Debbie Blabbermouth Schultz didn't care. But she acted like she had no clue either. So it's it's uh, it's an opportunity, there's no question. Doug, thanks. This is Tom in Dexter, Michigan. You're next, sir. Great to have you here. It's the voice to be here, Rush. Shameless one-time EIB sponsored dittos. Thank you, sir, very much. Um, I'm a, a writer, and I've done some political speech writing and candidate debate preps. I'm thrilled with the Ryan selection, and I'm wondering... How do you, uh, are you looking forward to the debates this fall, with, uh, particularly with Ryan and Biden? Yeah, I am. In fact, uh, the Ryan-Biden debate ought to be choice. But I think the Romney-Obama debate uh, has an opportunity to be excellent as well. I concur. I think they're, they're both going to be great. But, you know, Ryan going up against Biden's going to be like Muhammad Ali taking on a sock puppet. Well... It appears, you know, on paper, there's. I don't think there's any any uh, any question. But don't don't forget, in every one of these debates, we're going to have a moderator that's going to be going overboard to make the Democrat look good and to embarrass the Republican in every one of them. 
every one of them. All the moderators might have a couple of instances where they appear to challenge the Democrats so as to convey this myth of objectivity. Uh, but yeah, on paper, Biden-Ryan looks big.